we'll all get us started with a little statement here. You know, we're, uh, we had our two toughest opponents at the first round of conference, I believe, you know, here at the Maybe Center this week, but it comes at a bad time for us because we're a little beat up right now and not at full, full team strength, but at the same time, we're just not shooting the ball well right now. And uh, to kind of couple those two things, that's the result that we get on Wednesday night and then again here on Saturday. But uh, today's game, I know for me personally, was a different feel than it was on Wednesday night. I felt like Wednesday night was a little bit more just a toughness and an effort thing, and I think today the girls tried to really execute a lot of the stuff and the adjustments that we wanted to make. Um, but we just had a lot of uh, just open shots that didn't put pressure, you know, on our opponent today. But uh, we had some bright spots too, um, some things that uh, I think Jordy uh, Gilbert had a, had a breakout game at both ends of the floor today and kind of really increased her level of play and the quality of play. But kind of our, our old stalwarts, you know, Kaylin Mayberry and Lakota Beatty, you know, the shots aren't falling for them right now like they have in the past and have been. And, and even Maria Martianez, you know, we're just kind of, we get one piece risen up and then, you know, kind of we're, we're, we're trying to get all of those to kind of uh, crescendo at the same time right now. So a uh, good job by South Dakota State. I thought that, uh, again, we probably had about four girls, maybe five, that played today that have never played against South Dakota State before. So this was their first experience and a learning experience. And, you know, you, you want to get all of your games won at home, um, but at the same time, uh, it's good to experience both South Dakota and South Dakota State this week and kind of let our, our entire team know what these programs are all about and kind of know what their reputations come from. So. Uh, being out on the wing, did you not see what you wanted today from a team perspective? It's just like she was saying, taking like the right shots, knowing when to attack, and knowing what we do best as an individual player and bringing that to the team and doing that from the jump. Faith, so. um, what do you think happened defensively that gave South Dakota all those looks that carried the ball? Um, I would say they have some big post players. So I would say us wanting to over help down low gave them a lot of open looks and maybe a little bit of not finishing out possessions, grabbing the rebounds, so they get second chance shots, so yeah. Coach, um, obviously a lot of teams in conference love to shoot the three, so uh, going to, into this week's practice, what's gonna be you know, kind of the focus as far as the first season? We'll continue to do the same things that we've been doing. You know, the South Dakota State shot 9 for 18 from the three-point line in the first half, and they went uh, 0 for 6 from the three-point line in the second half. And, and I know that they probably weren't maybe not pressing for stuff as much, but we also just did a better job of communicating and matching up and making the switches that we needed to make. And um, we created offense for them several times today by the wrong people helping off and trying to give post help when they shouldn't have or, or giving too much of it. Um, but again, uh, we... I, I'll be able to tell this from video too, but I know we did a lot better job defensively in this game than we did on Wednesday night, you know, as far as uh, just the focus on the details and stuff. And, and some of it is players trying to make plays defensively and they're making them when they're guarding the wrong person, you know. And, and that comes from, too, of half of our roster not knowing, you know, they know it on paper, the personnel, but they're not having a chance to play against a, a team of this quality yet. So South Dakota State with Clarissa Ober being back again is more of a difficult matchup for us because I thought, I thought, uh, Coach Johnson did a great job of, of making the decision to start both he and Ellie Thompson today because that's a more difficult matchup for our post girls. You know, Faith had a 5-9 versus 6-2, 6-3 matchup, you know, at the start today. And uh, and so at times when they went a little bit bigger, that was more difficult for us. And we had to come off of the three-point shooters a little bit more to lend her a hand. And uh, that led to a little bit more of their looks, you know, at the uh, at the three-point line. But but uh, we'll, we'll keep doing what we're doing. And, and uh, I, I'm confident that We've, we've got a lot of the pieces of the puzzle that we need right now, um, but they're just not all fitting together at the right moments right now. And it's, these, these are one of the times that you start to, uh, we, we hit a, we've not found our middle of the road rhythm again since Christmas break. You know, this was kind of one of those years that we had really good momentum going into Christmas break, and I hated to see Christmas break come um, because it kind of brought it to a screeching halt, and we just haven't quite found our equilibrium since coming back from it yet. But unfortunately, these are the most important games that we have to play throughout the year, too. So uh, it, we'll have good practice next week, We're kind of back in, back in a routine now with classes starting back up and being back into spring semester. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm glad we're experiencing a couple of the things that we're experiencing, and it's still just the second week in January right now. You know, we've got a lot of basketball left to play in the next four to five weeks, getting ready for the conference tournament, and, and we, we're still as confident as we've always been with the personnel that we have.